Say Savage, Day Savage, your boy, Shino Ventura, what's poppin'? Today we are back, and yes, we got a video topic that is really crazy. We are talking about the Hokage son. Yes, the boy that is named the next Kaze Kage. Now, there's some stipulations on that. So, if you're excited about today's video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Keep out other content. You know, you might find something you like. I've been cooking up over here like it's a gumbo pot. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If you know what I'm saying, you're probably going to chill with the gang. But that aside, if you have your own personal thoughts and personal opinions, you're allowed to leave those in the comment section below. A lot of people always trying to tell me how I should feel about these characters. But let me know how you feel. You know what I'm saying? Let me know how you feel, and I'm going to tell you how I feel, and then we can talk about it on a real deal. So with that being said, let's get in the video, let's get So, on a real note, like, really, tell me how you feel about this man, like, Shikamaru becoming Hokage, right? So we have a new Hokage, like, Boruto introduced a new Hokage off dump. Like, I mean, obviously, it took seven years, and we took, like, a time skip, and we took Naruto pretending to be dead, uh, obviously, but it was like... He's here now. It's not like it's something that's not like real. It's 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 here. It's something that's like visible to my eyes and yours. We have a new Hokage that some of us deem capable and some of us think he is incapable. And that's only because it's like he has a high IQ. His intelligence and his strategics for battle make him phenomenal. But he also has some other stipulations on him. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people wonder what I was talking about when I meant the Hokage son that's the Kazi Kage candidate, right? So like off bat, you know, he got with Tamari. She is a daughter of a Kazikage, you know what I'm saying? Over there, it's more like treated on some royalty shit. It's not like they're treated on some like, you know, uh, regular democracy, the village got to choose, we get to pick who we want in this office. Nah, man, this is like, there are a hierarchy, you know, if you were born into the Kazikage family, you are automatically considered like a, a royalty, you know, you automatically have a status within the village. So with him having a status, and like her having a status, you know what I'm saying? And them having a kid, that's ultimate status. Like, bro, Shikadai may have become probably the most like royal kid in the series. Like, don't get it twisted. I'm talking about in their domain and their dimension in the, the land of fire, the, the, the land of lightning, shit like that. Their like world, you know, like their domain expansion. I'm not talking about outside like that into the Utsutsuki realm. But you know, when they come to do their investigations, they usually figure out who's the Hokage and shit like that. They're like, bring me to the Hokage. Like we know it's Naruto. Like, like they, they're not dumbfounded to the, to the ranking system. You know what I'm saying? So they like caught on to it pretty fast. But like, amongst the kids like this man is a hokage son but he's a candidate for kaze kage so the potential of him becoming hokage is great like i understand this is boruto series bro but like you got this kid like that was created by tamari as well as my boy shikamaru who is also very smart and seems to be very lazy but has been shown to do a lot of things that we will never see shikamaru do maybe in the new series they gotta give him something. As Hokage, you should have access to like a lot of forbidden seals, a lot of new ninjutsus and shit like that. So like, he should be able to like stir something up. He should be able to create a new ninjutsu to go with his shadow possession. We don't know. But in some side shindens, if you didn't know, if you read the shindens, like you'll know, like there was some type of conflict going on. So aside from me talking about Shikamaru training and getting some type of power up, let's get back on course. Uh, we're gonna talk about Shikadai basically getting uh took into another village like if shinki wasn't really like established if the dominance level that gara has now wasn't recreated by him adopting and him having another kid from the outer you know what i'm saying it it, it really would be bad for shikadai shikadai was already like put in a position where he was gonna have to leave and go to the sand village because he was the first child born he was the first son of the kazikage's kids and not to mention he was the closest to gara next in line to become the kazikage because like i said they treat this like royalty if you become kazikage you are king of the sand castle bro it's like you know you the champion of bikini bottom you don't even need your anchor arms you just gonna be in that thugging thug until it's like easy you know what i'm saying like real talk like honestly i'm looking like whoa Y'all really like 
got this kid out here already, like, and trying to throw him into another village, but he was born into the Leaf Village. Like, how would Naruto even feel about that? So, like, Gara obviously created a way and created a, a pathway for that. So, if something was ever to happen with Shinki and Gara to the point where, you know, he is not, like, you know, fit or, like, even if Shinki was up there and he does become Kazekage and something happens to him directly, if he doesn't have no descendants right quick, you know what I'm saying, it goes back to Shikadai or whoever is next. Because, like, obviously, we don't got Conqueror out here got like, no babies and nothing. You know what I'm saying? You, you could see, like, he hangs out with Shinki. A lot of people thought that was his son at first, but you clearly see panels where they call each other their uncle and nephew, you know what I'm saying? So it's like you can't even, like, go apart on that now not to mention if you watch the anime you saw the whole introduction of shinky you saw how he was going crazy creating like the sand the metal sandstorms within the village and pretty much destroying all kind of shit and gar had to go quell him and basically subdue his wild man syndrome and see what he was going on you know what i'm saying like that's literally how it went down but for the future references like if you guys don't know about shikadai like i already said he is strong as fuck because he is mixed with tamari he is mixed with motherfucking uh, Shik Shikamaru. Shikamaru is smart. He outsmarted Tamari off dump. The only reason he didn't finish it, finish the job, because he was too tired. He like, look, all right, you, we, we got this, but like, we out of chakra. There's nothing I could do. So like, it's either I'ma just hold you here and I'ma call it what it is, or I'm smart enough to assess this situation and I'ma call a speed a speed. That's just what he did. It wasn't like that. So then you got Shika die that's like that, and then he also has like the ninjutsu from his mom like you know he has the summoning weasel he has the wind weasel i don't know the direct name like you know don't butcher me but he has the summoning you know he can use wind uh he can use actually the fans uh so it's like one of the sacred treasure tools as a fan if he learns how to master that and gets the wind scythe you know that plus shadow possession bro what that's a kite ninja bro like you can't mess with him like i'm talking about the dynamics of shika die whole atmosphere would change his whole like personality mixed with aroma will come into like a new degree like a lot of people be trying to understand this character a lot deeper than what they are now but it's it's there it's been shown like if you read like the light novels bro they they've actually talked about this like it's been hinted at now we haven't seen him do like too much crazy shit in the manga or the anime uh, obviously they saving that cake for another day But if you read up and like go get like your series like small adaptations or sub adaptations You will find out this information a lot of people think we be just throwing this shit out there Nah, bro, this is real So I'm gonna cast my poll and like see what you got to say Like how do y'all feel about that? Like how do y'all feel about Shigga Dai being forced into this new position? Because really that's a lot of pressure That's not like something simple It wasn't like you know it was easy for him like you know what I'm saying And like you got all these standards and like status quo to live by you know like political side of it is really crazy as you guys seen shikamaru does care way more about the political side than he actually care about like anything else because if you guys remember he does most of the paperwork for naruto because naruto obviously gotta save everybody when it's time to save everybody but you know when it's time to write some shit down or jot some notes down naruto is probably like fucking up like goofing off doing something stupid something that really don't make sense but at the end of the day you know he is the hokage and that's what he got an advisor for like, like, I don't know. Like, seriously, bro. Like, this shit about to be crazy because, like, you know, we're going to have a Shikamaru that comes in, like, literally fusses at Shikadai if he's, like, goofing off with Kawaki if he's not getting his missions done. But, like, the Kawaki we got is a little bit too serious right now. So, like, I don't even think we're going to get to see, like, a happy side. Like, you know how they got, like, the Kawaki Uzumaki background trope in the background story? I don't even think that's going to be, like, on the cool side. Like, I don't even think you're going to see him and Shikadai interact how you saw Boruto and him interact in the first part and how they were actually close friends due to the relationship with their father you know what i'm saying i feel like it's still gonna be operating and i think shikamaru might notice that like real talk shikamaru might notice like they don't hang out it goes like shinky what happened to i'm not shinky shinka died what happened to you and fucking kawaki like what, what, what was going on with that like how how did you guys fuck that friendship up like how did y'all like stop talking you know what i'm saying so obviously this is my personal thoughts and personal opinions i think him being a candidate for kazekage slash Hokage son, uh, it's gonna be dope. It's gonna push him to be a lot stronger. Uh, that kind of pushes him from his lazy side. So it's like it puts him in a position that makes him have to do something. As you guys remember, like uh, my boy Shikamaru didn't really want to do anything in regards to helping Naruto and them. But then later on in the series, he was kind of put in a bubble and forced into a space where he had no choice. You know what I'm saying? With the events of the tuning exam, as if the events of Asuma, like you know, obviously the fourth great ninja war, his dad being involved and him being involved. That put him in a spot where it was like, 
we gotta we gotta do something. So like that's how he got his like renowned. That's how he got his like fame from fighting and shit and like his no like his merit from being smart. So like we gonna have that same thing for Shikadai because like Hokage son, Kaze Kage's nephew, Kaze Kage candidate. Like the fuck. Let me know your personal thoughts and personal opinions. If you guys enjoy the like button, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get it out. I'm gonna see you guys later. I'm gonna have a bunch of videos pop up on the screen. And with that being said, finally, bye.